Ian, uh, you must be pleased to finally be playing league football again and even more pleased to get off to a winning start. Yeah, obviously it's great to uh, start the season with a win. I thought we thoroughly deserved it over the 90 minutes, even though we went through a little period in the second half where they had a lot of possession. We give it a b way, the ball away a bit cheaper and uh, if they'd have nicked a goal, then it could have been a different game. But I felt by half-time we should have been out of sight. We should have, been, For me, should have been sort of four or five up by half-time. Uh, Ian, the, the two goals today were for the highest order, but uh, could quite easily have been five or six had we taken our chances. Yeah, as we said uh, earlier, we, we scored two quality goals, uh, two individual goals as well, but we know those players can score them type of goals. But certainly with uh, Graham Montgomery that's hit the crossbar, Ricky Shakes has, has had another one that's fallen down, and uh, just before half-time from a free kick with uh, Lee Angle again. So we could have quite easily come in sort of four or five up at half-time. Uh, I felt we played some lovely football, moved the ball quickly, and looked really bright. I felt second half we started a little bit slow, give them a bit of credit, they came out and uh, had to have a go at us, which they did. That ball retention wasn't as good in the second half, but once we uh, we made a couple of changes and brought a bit of fresh legs on in the last 20 minutes, I felt we could have gone and got a third again or even a fourth in the last 15, 20 minutes. We showed today after playing the pro sides and pre-season that we have the ability to, to score goals despite not getting many against those that sort of quality of opposition. It's always going to be difficult in, in the opposition that we've played against to score the goals because most of the time we end up defending, but we've defended in numbers. And then when we do break, we uh, we struggle to get bodies into the forward areas. And if we was to really overstretch ourselves, we'd leave ourselves totally exposed against them sort of teams. And instead of it being nil nils, one nils, and two nils, it could quite easily be fives and sixes. So we have to be careful how we do it. Um, and we're very disciplined, and it, and it breeds good discipline once we go into the season. But if you look at all the sides today that we've played against, Watford have won three nil, Luton have won one nil, Cambridge United have won. So you know the the results that we've been having in pre-season have been been good. Um, it was good to get uh, a 90 minutes against uh, Farnborough today under our belts as well because obviously it's important as we go on to the next stage of the season. And uh, you brought in Austin Lippmann on loan uh, from Arsenal for the season, which is a good deal for the club. It's fantastic. It's fantastic for the club because obviously it gives us a quality player. Um, he hasn't had many minutes at the moment, so we've got to make sure that we manage that correctly over the next three or four weeks. He's obviously going to continue training with Arsenal on a daily basis, train with us when we train, and then obviously get his minutes with us when we're uh, we're doing our training sessions. So, and then when we play the games, he'll get extra minutes from that side of it. But again, it's, he's got 70 minutes under his belt today, which is great. He'll get stronger and he'll get brighter and fitter as the season goes on. And uh, we go to neighbours Hemel Hempstead on Tuesday evening, who have just come up and uh, we'll be looking to add more points to our tally of three already. Um, yeah, obviously we want three points, but it's going to be a tough game. Uh, you know, we're under no illusions of how tough that's going to be on Tuesday night. I've watched them two or three times last season. I've already watched them once this season and they're very bright. They've got some very good players. You don't score 130 or goals in a season if you're a poor side. They won their league by a mile last season and it's got a lot of goals in it. The two forwards, I think, nearly scored 80 goals between them last season. So it's going to be a tough, tough game. We're going to, be, have, to have to be at our very, very best, but we go there full of confidence after picking up the three points today. Uh, well done, Stane, and good luck Tuesday. Thank you. Graham, uh, a wonder goal to start the season and three points. You must be pleased. Yeah, very pleased. Uh, good start. Boys have worked hard pre-season. It's what we were looking for and uh, it was just a bonus that got the first one. And not long after that first one, it could quite easily have been a second if it wasn't for the bar. Yeah, no, I thought it had gone in, but um, obviously not. It's a shame. Would have put us in a, in a good step, but Lee's got the second one. Um, maybe a few more we could have scored and made it a bit more sure, but they'll come as the season goes on. I say it was good to be creating chances after pre-season, playing all those pro sides, not getting many chances, but today we showed that we have the ability to score goals when we get them. Yeah, we know we've got the ability. We've got a good attacking force and we've proved that defensively we're strong. So we were strong again. Um, and as I say, first game we scored two goals and we'll just push on from there. I say you set yourself target into double figures for the season. Today was a good start. Yeah, not a bad start. Um, hopefully a couple more like that and I can push that up, get into double figures like I want. And we go to Hemel Hempstead on Tuesday and we've got to carry on from where we left off today. Yeah, exactly. This one's gone now. Um, it's going to be a long season. We've got to take, take each game as it comes. Um, but the boys are feeling fit, they're strong, and I'm sure that we're going to start scoring goals this season. Thanks, uh, Monty, and good luck on Tuesday. Cheers, thank you.